Hi, I'm Arloa and welcome to Color Touch TV. In this episode, I want to talk to you about free cooling. Yep, free cooling. What is it? Let me set the scenario up for you. Have you ever gotten home after working all day to find it nice and cool outside, but the inside of your home is hot? You could turn on the air conditioner to cool your home and run up your electric bill, but a more affordable way is to open a few windows to get a nice breeze circulating through your house. But there are security issues and you can't set the temperature. However, free cooling is like mashing the two together. For equipped homes, this is the ultimate way to cool your home on those days when the outside temperature is a little cooler than on the inside. On those days, free cooling will pull in fresh air from the outside through the air ducts, cooling your home for free instead of using the air conditioner. Imagine how much money you could save. There are a few steps involved to set this up, so let me show you how. Before we begin, let's look at all of the things you will need to make free cooling work. You will need a Venstar Color Touch, a Venstar ACC TSEN sensor, a 24 volt transformer, a 24 volt double pole double throw relay, two 24 volt motorized duct dampers. One for the return air and the other we will convert to a normally closed damper to be used for the air intake from the outside. And finally, a barometric relief damper for relief into the attic. Now let's look at a diagram to see how all of this is going to work. As you can see, we have the three dampers installed. The first is the free cooling damper, which is normally closed. Then we have the return air damper that is normally open. And finally, we have the barometric damper that is normally closed. When free cooling is activated, here's what happens. The free cooling damper is opened, allowing for fresh cool air from the outside to come in. At the same time, the return air damper is closed to prevent the return air from recirculating into the home. The barometric damper will open once sufficient pressure is built up, releasing the stale air into the attic so the home is always getting fresh, free air from the outside. Got it? Okay, great. Now let's look at the steps to install free cooling into the home. First, let's take one of our 24 volt motorized dampers and convert it to a normally closed damper. All you have to do is unmount the motor here and mount it on the other side. Doing this will convert it to a normally closed damper. Now let's look at the barometric damper and see how it works. As the pressure builds up inside of the house, the pressure will force this damper to open, releasing the stale air from the home into the attic. In order for the color touch to know when to engage free cooling, it needs to know the outside temperature. With that in mind, we need to wire a Venstar ACC TSEN sensor and place it under the eave of your house. Now that you have the dampers and sensor installed, let's look at how to wire the color touch. The first thing we need to do is place the outdoor sensor wires into these terminals here. Move the compressor wire from Y1 to Y2. This will move the compressor from first stage cooling to second stage cooling. You will now take the free cooling wire and put it into Y1, making it first stage cooling. Now, whenever the cooling turns on, it will see if the parameters for free cooling are met and engage that option before engaging the compressor for cooling. Now, let's wire the relay. Take the wire coming from the Y1 terminal on the color touch and place it here to the coil side of the relay. To complete this circuit, you will place the common wire on the other coil terminal of the relay here. Next, you will place the wire from the 24 volt transformer on the contact side so when activated, it can power the dampers to open and close. 
Finally, you will place the wires from the damper on the contact side as well, so when activated, the relay will send the 24 volts to the dampers to open and close them. Now let's set up free cooling on the color touch. Hit menu. Scroll down and tap the settings button. Scroll down, then installation settings. Scroll down, scroll down again. One more time and select sensor settings. Choose wired sensor use and make sure use as outdoor sensor is selected. Hit back. Back one more time. Scroll up until you see heat and cool stages. Now select heat and cool stages and select it one more time. If this option is grayed out, make sure the dip switches on the color touch motherboard are in the proper positions. You can learn more about the dip switch settings in the manual that came with your color touch. Now you want to change cooling from one stage to two stage. Stage one will be free cooling and stage two will be mechanical. Now hit back and back one more time. Now select free cooling. To enable free cooling, tap this button. Notice that when you enable free cooling, mechanical cooling is also enabled automatically. Let's change the usable outdoor temperature threshold. I like 60 degrees. What this means is anytime the outdoor temperature is 60 or below, it will engage free cooling to cool your home. Anytime the outdoor temperature is above 60, it will use the compressor or mechanical cooling to cool your home. Keep in mind there are two parameters that have to be met before free cooling engages. The first parameter is the one we just set. The outside temperature must match or be below your max outdoor temperature setting. The second parameter is the outside temperature must be two degrees lower than your cooling set point. If both of these conditions are not met, then free cooling will not engage. Now hit back, press home, and you are all done. Now that you have free cooling set up on the color touch, you have virtual windows in every room of your home. You can open these at the touch of a button to let in a nice cool breeze. Well, that does it for this episode. I'll see you next time on Color Touch TV.